hi there. We've got a game. We're gonna fill this up with water, we're gonna pour it into a cup, and see if you can guess which one it spills out of. Let's go. Ready? Which one do you think it's in? Do you think it's in this one? No? Okay. How about this one? Let's see. And how about this one right here? Yeah? So how come that didn't work? Where'd the water go? Inside one of the cups, we had a super absorbent polymer. It looks like this. And if you look closely, it looks kind of like a spider web. Except instead of catching flies, this catches water molecules. But why? Why is it sticky? To understand why this polymer attracts water, first, we need to look at the water molecule. Everyone knows that water is H2O, but what far fewer people know is that water has positive and negative portions of the molecule. The result is that the hydrogen is partially positive and the oxygen is partially negative. I'm sure you've heard that opposites attract. Well, the negative oxygen atoms in one water molecule can attract the positive hydrogen atoms in another water molecule. This phenomenon is known as hydrogen bonding, and it's the reason why a cup of water can overflow like this. It's also the reason why a snowflake has such a cool structure. Getting back to the polymer web structure though, we can see that the polymer has a bunch of carboxylate groups. These are the things written COO minus, and they have a bunch of negatively charged oxygen atoms attached to them. Given what we know about hydrogen bonding, can you tell why this polymer attracts water? Take a second to think about it. The polymer is sticky because it has carboxylate groups with negatively charged oxygen atoms. These negatively charged oxygen atoms are attracted to the partially positive hydrogen atoms in water. And the water goes into the gel and the negatively charged oxygens hold the water inside, causing the gel to swell. You might be thinking, cool, the water is held inside the gel. But that still doesn't answer the question. Why didn't the gel fall out of the glass when it was turned upside down? The hydrogen atoms in water are attracted to the oxygen molecules in glass, meaning that they can form hydrogen bonds and stick to one another. Since the polymer is holding the water molecules in place, this provides a solid structure so that the gel and the water can stick to the glass in the cup. Put simply, through hydrogen bonding, the polymer gel can hold on to the water, and the water can hold on to the glass. This is what's being represented by the orange lines. And this is the reason why everything sticks together and doesn't fall out when it's turned upside down. To do this demonstration yourself, you only need water and something to hold it in, sodium polyacrylate, three cups that you can't see through, and a scoopula or a spoon to scoop out the sodium polyacrylate. That's all there is to it. Check out the references if you want to know how this works in a little more depth. And be sure to check out our other videos if you want to see more exciting science demonstrations. Thanks again for watching.